Hi, this is Digital Lady Sid. I just wanted to run a very quick short video here to um, show you a problem that seems to be occurring with the Luminar 2018 that people that use Windows are having. Uh, I found this little tip out at um, Kelby One Community and it definitely works um, if you want to be able to use this plugin in Photoshop as you would any of your other plugins. Right now, what happens is you go in to Luminar, you duplicate your background layer or whatever, wherever you're at, your uh, stamp layer, and it will go in and you can do all your changes and everything, but when you come back out, you get a blank layer and no changes have taken effect, nothing, although your history states show that Luminar has been applied. I had uh, written to the company um, oh, few weeks ago and they said they were aware of the issue but at this point I don't see anything coming out as a workaround so or not a workaround but a fix on it I'm sure they're going to have a fix I believe they'll probably have one in the next month or so coming out on this but in the meantime this is how you can actually use this program without a lot of problem so right here is a picture that I have taken of Spanish Key in the Bahamas from a few years ago this is actually an HDR image that I took with uh, uh, five images and I processed it using the on one um, photo raw 2018 HDR I was pretty pleased with the results I thought that it did a really nice job but I still wanted to add a few more effects in Photoshop with Luminar so as you can see um, I've got the background layer here and I've got a uh, adjustment layer up here that's adjusting kind of this ugly color down here that really it looked much more sandy it actually was kind of a sandy beach there so to be able to get this to work what you have to do is the first thing you want to do is create a composite layer or a stamp layer which is a uh, control shift alt e it's called the claw in some cases and that adds all the changes into one layer so that's what you're seeing here now, what you want to do then is to duplicate this top layer. So you have now a duplicate of your composite layer. Turn off all your other layers. So now just the one is turned on and drag it to the bottom. The next thing that you have to do is to turn this into a background layer. It will not work if you click the little button up here, see, like that. That will not work. Luminar will not work if you do that. But if you go up here, and you go to um, layer new and underneath whoops layer new is the background from layer that's how you get it to work okay now you can go into your filter and it now is under Skylum software luminar and in this case I'm going to do just a couple little quick changes for us here and you'll be able to, to see that. It's going to take a second here to get in because I have a lot going here. Okay, and I'm just going to do this real quick here. So um, we're going to add a filter, add the accent filter. Um, I think I had that set up to about 50%. Okay, and then I added another filter. Whoops. Um, the Orton effect, just to soften it down a little bit more and just so we can see what changes are going to occur here type one i had an amount of 11 not very much here uh, softness of or amount of 56 i'm sorry soft there we go about 50 some softness of not 45 okay brightness 41 um contrast 11 and sat 7. I really messed that up there. Okay, and seven. Okay, now I'm going to hit apply. And there it is. Now what you do is you turn on your other ones, turn off this uh, lock here and drag it to the top. And there you have it. There's your change. So I hope maybe that will help a few people uh, out here. Um, just in case you wanted to know, here's the example. Here's another example. If I just go to filter, this is what it's doing. 
you go to this and you're going to see it's going to just uh, takes a minute to get in again. Okay, here it goes. Uh, let's just apply something so that you can see that. Okay, do an apply. Here it goes. And there's your blank layer. It shows that it's being applied, but it's not there. So you definitely want to use the, the way I do it. So hopefully that will help you out. Um, remember, you can find me at uh, www.digitalladysid.com. Um, I'll, I'll put my links underneath or here at the WordPress uh, link. So um, have a nice uh, day and uh, don't let this stop you from buying the Luminar plugin if you really like it if you're a Windows person because it actually will work if you follow this workaround. Happy uh, Thanksgiving and talk to everybody later. Bye.